This is the best thing to travel with. Like, it's a blanket. You just toss it over your head and boom, you're dressed. I don't know where I've been, why I've been asleep on this whole poncho game. What's up, good people? It is me, Destiny, and today we are making a fleece poncho hooded cape gone with the wind fabulous wraparound scarf sort of situation so if you want to know all of the measurements of these pieces follow the link in the description bar down below to a blog post that's going to be on my website with all the specifics i don't know why that was so hard to say specific measurements of all these pieces but in this video we're just going to be running through it because it's it's a lot okay Step one, you're gonna mark the center point of your body piece by folding it in half and then folding it in half again. So folding it hot dog and then hamburger. Then you're going to measure the neckline seven inches across from left to right and four and a half inches down on the front side and then two and a half inches down on the back side. And then you're just gonna curve, like make a neckline, you know what I mean? You can figure it out. Make a neckline and curve it to meet these points and boom, neckline. you want to sew the outside hood along the curve right sides together then repeat the same for the lining noting that half of the curve of the lining hood is already on fold so just sew the part that is not on fold next you want to attach the hood lining and the hood right sides together along the front curve top stitch the seam allowance to the lining Then baste the two layers together along the bottom edge. That's just going to keep it together while we attach it to the poncho. Then you want to move on to the scarf and you're going to hem both sides, both long edges of the scarf. And attach one short edge of the scarf to either side of the hood, right sides together. Then you want to find the middle of the hood and the middle of the back neckline and match them together. Continue to pin the hood along the neckline, also pinning the attached part of the scarf. Thank you. 
Now here we are to the optional part, the pockets. So if you are choosing to do pockets, you want to take both your pocket pieces and hem the sides and top of the pieces. Snip into the curve and hem it that way so that you can get a nice smooth curve. Next, you want to fold the pocket lip in half, right sides facing, leaving maybe like a quarter of an inch at the top um, and sew down the sides. Then you want to figure out where you want your pocket to be, put right sides together, and you're going to reveal the placement of your next pocket. Next, you want to flip the pocket lip inside out and attach it above the pocket opening. Not too close because you want to be able to put your hand in there or put things in there, but close enough to that when you flip it down over the pocket, it actually covers the top of the pocket. And that is why we left that little quarter inch lip because it just makes things easier and less bulky. So once that's attached, you wanna fold it down over the pocket and hand stitch the sides of the pocket lip to the front of your poncho to keep that pocket lip down and in place. So yeah, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for bearing with. <laughs> I've been in student mode, so I've been ducked off, but I'm trying to get back into just putting things out into the world for people to learn and for you to work on. So thank you so much for watching. If you like it, 
do what you do. And I will see you when I see you.